Hello you guys, I just wanted to talk to you about this little adorable 5x7 watercolor painting that I have done for a commission and it's a little chow chow puppy and if I could name this painting I would call it, I would name it Puppy Haha's because it's just so cute. So um, I'm doing this painting for a client, actually she says she's really good friends with this person who's famous and it's going to her friend as a birthday present and um, so I looked her up on Facebook and lo and behold she's friends with this famous person so that's kind of interesting it's kind of fun to have a little excitement in my life anyway um, hopefully I can let you guys know who this person is she's really a neat person she's done a lot of really good work and a lot of good um, charity work and things like that so I'm really excited and I hope she really likes it but Without further ado, let's talk about this little cutie pie, this little chow chow puppy. And the main thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is the technique that I used to get the long fluffy fur look. And what I did in this painting was um, I would take uh, one of these fur brushes that I have, I don't know if you can see it. So I would use that brush and put some streaks of clear water on the painting, really light, um, not too wet, and then I'd go back in with the color and let it kind of pool in through those strokes so that um, there were some hard edges that showed that it was a long hair, It was the, um, the fur was long, but also it wouldn't all merge and melt together beautifully so it looked soft still. So that's kind of a technique that I use when I'm painting longer haired pets like a chow chow or a cat with really long fur. So, um, so anyway, for the black areas of this dog, I use lamp black and in other videos I've talked about mixing your blacks to get a more rich, interesting black and that's true, but in some of these pets that I've been painting, their black hair is really black. So where there's blue undertones or highlights or um, warm tones or highlights, I do mix in a different color, but uh, in the last few paintings I've been using my lamp black a lot just because I really want those darks really dark. And I don't want to have to layer and layer and layer. I just want to do a couple layers and have it done. And I think that helps it look more fresh. So what do you guys think? Um, do you like to mix your blacks or do you just like to use straight black? Um, I'd love to hear from you. So anyway, uh, that is uh, the main little tips that I wanted to share with you guys. For the tongue, I used a combination of Napfall Red and Quinacridone Rose. And um, really, it doesn't matter so much. Don't get hung up on the color that you use, the actual color, because what matters most is um, the tones that you use, the darks, the lights. You want to make sure where the tongue's dark, you get it dark. Where it's light, you want it light. Where it's white or it has a little bit of a glisten, completely white. So that's the more important thing. So just keep that in mind um, when you're mixing your paints and you're just kind of um, trying to think it out too much. Maybe there's smoke coming out of your ears. Um, just realize that the actual paint colors you use aren't as important as uh, making sure you get your tones right. Get your darks dark and your lights light and your mediums medium. Um, and sometimes the mediums I find can be the most tricky. This was a short video, but it's a little painting. It was a little 5 by 7 painting, so I just wanted to share a few little tips and tricks that I did with that, and I hope those were helpful. I hope you guys are having a good week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Say bye-bye, kitty! Bye-bye, kitty!